So DeepSeek is just another one of these artificial intelligence companies, and it was really trying to compete with some of the big players in the U.S., like uh, ChatGPT. So you have OpenAI and their different models. You have Google with Gemini. You have uh, Meta with Llama. And really, DeepSeek is a Chinese startup firm that is trying to compete in that space. They don't necessarily have the tens of billions of dollars that some of these companies in the U.S. have, and they wanted to compete. They had perhaps a better algorithm, a better idea about how to train the models, and then also how to execute on it for answering people's questions. And they are using a slightly different technique, which is apparently, based on the data so far, a lot more energy efficient and efficient in terms of the chips that it might take as well. They were able to really do this on what some people would call a shoestring budget. It is one of the things that I think uh, people are really wondering is a company like NVIDIA, where they were viewed as almost having a monopoly or a really, really strong moat around the whole chip and artificial intelligence ecosystem, that maybe that moat isn't quite as strong as what people originally thought. That could be why their stock is down. I think the jury is still out. See if whether or not all the data that we have so far can actually be validated. But it does suggest that maybe we don't need to throw tens of billions of dollars at these issues in order to develop something that's usable for the general public and for industry.